Hello guys, my name is Reema and wishing you everyone a Ramadan Kareem. So for today's video, I have decided to teach you guys how to create a special greeting card for your loved ones for this Eid using the app called Procreate. If you haven't used Procreate before, so let me talk a little bit more about Procreate. Procreate is a design app which is exclusively made for Apple. So I use my iPad Pro in which I have installed the app and to draw I use my eye pencil if you can see let me put this in focus this is the eye pencil I use so let's begin the tutorial now before I begin this tutorial please feel free to follow me on my Instagram account I'll be mentioning it on the screen so you can follow me there and you can see more of my videos and you can also see the artwork which I produce so let's begin my Procreate app. I have clicked on it. Now, before we start, let's choose our canvas. So for this, I have decided to use a rectangular portrait version, that's a portrait version canvas. And Procreate itself gives you a standard canvas size. But for this one, especially, we are going to use our Customized size. So I'm going to put 4,500 pixels by 5,000 pixels, which will give me a maximum layer of 19. So let's begin. My DPI is also 300. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a paper cut effect. So guys, now we are in a Procreate app, as you can see. So let's begin the tutorial. If you see on the right topmost corner is where you can pick up the colors and you can create your own customized palette, color palettes. I would suggest you that whenever you start an artwork, do, do have a customized color palette. This will help you to stay in that range of colors. For me, I use this particular color palette if you go through any of my artwork, you'll see that all my artwork is somewhere played around this particular color palette. So I'm going to give it a background color. It is good to give a dark background color. So I'm going to give like a dark yellow because that is my absolute favorite color. I have given the background color. You can just take the color, drop it into your canvas and it will fill your entire canvas. Now to start using the paper cut effect, I'm going to use the brush, I'm going to use inking and I'm going to use the studio brush. Now Procreate has set default brushes which you can use and which is really good to create any sort of artwork in any sort of dimension or spectrum. But for this I'm going to use studio pen, one of my favorite pen. It is really good for creating good outline. Once you create on the pen studio pen you can go inside and customize the pen according to your own style and taste so for me i keep the streamline to full because i have a little bit of shaky hand not full like almost like 80 percent because i have shaky hands and this will help me to keep the line steady clean and crisp now for the paper, the base paper should be a little lighter, but not like a pastel light. Because all the papers, paper layer which you're going to create should go from dark to light. So this one, I'm going to start with the beautiful green color over here. For that, I'm going to start on a new layer. The new layer is I'm going to press plus sign over here and we have entered a new layer. So. Let's start creating natural organic shapes. I have created one here, one here. Make it a point you fill your entire canvas. And whenever you draw these shapes, make it a point it has a starting and ending point and it is in it is covered. Because if there's any open space and you color drop into it, it will color your entire canvas. So here we go. 
Now it's time to drop colors into it. Can you see how I'm dropping color? On top, you can see the threshold of the color. You see, I drop the color, hold it, hold my pen tool and put it on the right. And the color drop threshold, you can increase or decrease based on that. So this is my first layer, second layer of uh, shape, first layer of shape, second layer in my Procreate app. And I'm going to add another layer. And for this one, I'll be choosing a nice purple plum pink tone. And I'm going to draw on top of the organic shapes, which I've created before, just leaving a little bit space on the top. So it looks like the papers are placed on top of each other. So let's begin. Now we're going to create another layer and we are going to repeat the process in all the using all the colors which you feel to use while creating this greeting card. I'm going to add a few more colors because I feel a couple of places look still very blank and spacey such as these area, this area and this area. So I'm going to add more colors to fill it in. I'm going to go in with orange color. Orange is one of the most prettiest colors. Sorry, I forgot to create a layer over here. I think by now you can say that I love colors. Though in my daily life, I don't use that much colors, but when I draw and create art, I use a lot of bright, bold, neon colors. So, here we go. And the one. Time to drop the color into the shapes. Over here because it looks like empty. I'm just gonna paint it with my brush because the area is small. Now we are going to create paper cut effect, and for that, we need to create depth. We need to show that each paper is laid on top of another paper on the below paper, so it's time to create shadows using the tool called Gaussian Blur but you just don't go into Gaussian Blur and use it how are you going to do it let me tell you first you duplicate your layer how to duplicate a layer is you swipe towards left you see the three icon over there the three menu which is delete duplicate and lock you press duplicate you click on duplicate and that's how you duplicate a layer now to create the shadow so you go to layer the below layer you click on it and on the left side a menu will pop up over here we are going to click on alpha lock now how would you know your alpha lock is selected is that you would see a checkerboard checkerboard pattern on the on, as a background on the thumbnail of the layer so you can see the checkerboard pattern is here i have zoomed in my camera for you to show the checkerboard pattern as you can see over here the checkerboard pattern that shows that your alpha lock is selected if you can see i have selected the alpha lock since the alpha lock is selected now we are going to click on fill layer now before i click on fill layer you need to first be careful of the color chosen over here because when you fill layer it will automatically fill in the selected color which is already chosen on the color palette the reason we did we clicked on alpha lock is when we fill layer it will only fill the shapes which you have created in that layer so first i'm going to go in change in the color i'm going to take the black color which is there already in my color palette i'm going to go back i'm going to see it's already alpha lock and i'm going to see fill layer 
if you see my layer the shapes in my layer have turned black let me click on the on the checkbox this way you can hide the layer and you can see the layer below so you can see it's already black over there so let me come back click on the layer again and unlock the alpha lock unlock the alpha lock that sounds interesting now it's time to create the shadow now for that i'm gonna go on the magic wand adjustment button which is the third from the left side of your app of your appropriate app the second from top you can see gaussian blur click on it you can slide to adjust your gaussian blur i usually keep up to you can use your pen or you can use your fingers to slide it i use up to like 10 to 12 percent And this is how it looks. Can you see the effect which is shown in below? So guys, I have zoomed in the camera and I've zoomed in the layer, the artwork, to show you how the shadow effect can be seen. If you can see over here, the shadow has created a light shadow. Now, the reason I have adjusted the Gaussian blur to between 11 to 12% is because to see how much it can spread out the shadow. And I don't want the shadow to be to spread a lot, so I kept between 11 to 12 percent now we have created the shadow effect for the first layer or the first uh, shape which we have created we are going to continue the same for all of them You can see if I go more, can you see the shadow spreading out? Yeah, I don't need that. I need to keep between 11 to 12 percent. If you can see now, it kind of gives a 3D dimension to the artwork. Let me zoom this for you in more. Okay guys, I've zoomed in my screen to show you how to create that perfect 3D look. Now since we have created all the shadow, if you can see we have created all the shadow layers for all our shapes, now it's time to select them. Now to select multiple layers. You click on this layer and swipe it to right. This is selected. Then you go to another layer which you want to choose for, for us, which is another shadow layer which we have created. And you swipe to right. Let's go and select all of them. Click on the selection button, which left side, the fifth button, which looks like an arrow key. Let's click on it. So guys, as you can see, I have selected all the layers. Now I'm going to choose the selection tool, which I showed you before is the fifth button from the left side. It looks like an arrow key. So I have clicked on it and on the bottom, you can see a set of menu popping up over here. It shows how you want to move it. You can either do it freeform, uniform, distort or wrap. So, oops, unreset it. Let me make my canvas small so you can see how it looks like it is selected i chose my selection tool and i'm gonna press on freeform once if you press uniform the width and the height of the artwork will move proportionally so i don't want that i want to have a little bit of flexibility of how i'm going to move it so i'm going to first move it towards the left and i'm going to move it towards up 
pattern like this. I'm gonna zoom in my camera again to show you how this effect looks like in close up. So, so guys, this is how it looks in zoomed in. If you can see, it looks beautiful. Now let's go back and add in text Eid Mubarak and finish this e-greeting card. To add in text, I'm gonna click on the layer I'm going to click on the top layer so it deselects everything. I'm going to add in a new layer. I'm going to go to the action button, which looks like a wrench. And I'm going to add. I'm going to click on the add button. And it's written insert file, photo, take photo, add text. I'm going to add text. I'm going to write in Eid. Mubarak. Now guys, even remember that our Eid Mubarak is go also going to be in cut font so that the cut paper cut effect which we have created below shows up on top. So I'm going to extend. Sorry, I'm going to extend my text from end to end. Let me zoom out a little bit. The best thing about Procreate app is that you can pinch and pinch out your layer zoom in zoom out your layer by just pinching and it just like apple how you pinch and zoom into a photo it was exactly the same i'm gonna double click so it selects everything there's so many hand gestures you can use while creating anything on procreate which is amazing you can use two fingers tap on it and it'll take you back and if you don't want to use the Buttons on the left, you just tap twice. Can you see how it went back? Yeah, so Mubarak. Let's do this again. Edit style. I'm going to choose the font over here. I'm going to use the font impact because it has a really big size and it has really thick font. It has a very thick font. Okay. That's, I think my Mubarak has hit left, right. I'm going to click on my E. I'm going to double click and increase the size of the E, which I think I have already hit. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to place this end to end. now what are we gonna cut the eat font from we need to create a background from which the eat font will cut so let's put the background black now to show what's happening i'm gonna click on the check box to hide the layer so we can know what's happening we go to eat we click on the layer we first rasterize the text Rasterize the text layer. This will convert it into a smart object, smart shapes. You're gonna click on it, press alpha lock, go in. Once you do an alpha lock, it will select the shape which is on the layer. Once we rasterize the layer, the text has already been converted to a shape. So now I'm going to select, which is the second option from the top. I'm going to go in, go to my background layer, which I've clicked, click on the box so we can see the layer, click on it and click on, click on clear. Now, I don't know whether you can see it, but since we have cleared it, you can see it on the layer. It has cleared it. So now if I click on it, you can see the Eid Mubarak coming in from the so i've thought putting into i thought of putting in a couple of flowers over here so i'm gonna go to my i have a pd 
flora stamp which i have bought online you can buy brushes online any shape or size which you like now let's see which one oh, i think i only have uh i have plants so let me take one click once go to the selection tool increase the style of it bring it up okay let's see where our Eid Mubarak is placed because it shouldn't be this is the best part about selection too sentence in uniform it will uniformly change left right let's make it small let's show it over here hence free form you can choose So now you have created the floral stamp which I've added over here. Alpha lock. Select. Go back to your layer. It's not ticked so the layer is hidden. So you click on it. Press and click on clear. Now you can't, if you can see it on the layer, it has removed the leaf pattern remove it from here remove this and let's see how it looks can you see the leaf pattern since now our card is made now it's time to save it how are we going to save it is you're going to click on the uh, menu icon button which is the second from right it's called the adjustment layer adjustment menu you clicked on it sorry it's called the action menu which looks like a wrench you press share which is the third from the left share as you can share it as procreate PST, P, pdf jpeg file png i'm gonna save it as jpeg so here we go you can either save image or airdrop it to your phone i'm gonna airdrop it to my phone airdrop jose that's fine iphone name accept my work has come over here and you can send it to anyone if you want to save as image you can save it you can go go to your photos Click on images and share it with your loved ones. And guys, this is the final product, how it's going to look like, the final image, how it's going to look like. I think it's very beautiful. You can send it to your loved ones. This is the final product, how it's going to look like. I think it looks gorgeous. 